Watch this, beloved. We can be delivered from something only to be placed over something else. I wish I had me a church up here that skipped right over some of y'all heads. You can be delivered from bondage yeah, only to be given authority over the situation. I told our folks this morning, Glass, what's wrong with most people is that they don't understand authority. They think when the Lord gives them authority that that means that you over somebody else. Yeah, Sometimes when God's giving you authority, he's giving you authority over yourself. Let me have a heart for a moment. High five your neighbor. Tell your neighbor over yourself. See, see what God does sometimes is pull us out of bondage so that we can have authority over the situation that has us bound. Y'all ain't in there with me yet. Let me show you what I mean. If you are alcoholic and God delivered you from alcohol, you now have authority over yeah, if you was a junkie and God has delivered you from drugs, you now have authority over the I wish I had a church up in here. Not the alcohol having authority over you, not the drugs having authority over you. You now got authority over yourself. You can say to the drugs, not today, to the cigarettes, not today, to the alcohol, not today, to the lies, not I wish I had y'all up in here. Because what God does is places us in authority. Places us in authority over, yes, sir. Yes, places us in authority over what once has had us bound. Yeah, yeah, it's about having authority over one's self. Reach over and tell your neighbor, you got to get this together. You got to, yeah, you got to get this together. The same thing that has had you bound for 20 years, it's time for you to take authority over that situation when the Lord pulled the children of Israel out of yeah the land of Egypt God gave them authority over their situation look at here even though some people were complaining about what they did not have or what they were losing down in Egypt land God was raising up a nation that said we ain't going back we're going forward. Can I help First Baptist Institution real quickly? No matter what the pains of your past was, I come to tell you, don't keep going back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't keep waddling in the past pains, the past sufferings. When God has given you a leader that said, now let's move forward. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. It Jesus said in the prayer of Matthew 6, not my will. Yeah. He goes on to say, but thine being done. Israel lost many precious opportunities because they didn't want what God wanted them to have. I come to bless somebody today. I know it's the pastor's anniversary, but I need to bless somebody because you need to know, yeah, that God wants to bless us. Yeah, that there are precious, yeah, opportunities, range that are laid out for us. Yeah, God, God wants to open the door. God wants to make the way God wants to see you through. Yeah. But the uniqueness is you got to let God do it his way. Yeah. yeah, In order to arrive at the peaceful place where the Lord wants you to go, you got to learn how to do it his way. Yeah. Tell your neighbor his way. Yeah. What's intended for us if we just do what he wants us to do. Yeah. yeah. That the Lord is able, yeah, to handle our situations. If we just learn how to accept what he wants to give us, yeah, you and I can be much farther ahead. Yeah. Not my will, uh, yeah, but thy will be done. Yeah. Can I preach in here? Yeah. Yeah. The Lord wants to bless us uh, according to his program yeah. and according to his plan. Yeah. My grandmama and them who did not have strong biblical knowledge, yeah, they would say something like this, I'm sometime up. Yeah. I'm sometime down here. Yeah. I'm sometime almost here. Yeah. Level to the ground here. Yeah. But then they would turn around and say, but he, yeah. he's a way maker. Yeah. He's a burden bearer. 
high and he's a heavy load sharer. Reach up and tell your neighbor, he wants to take us to the promised place. He just waiting on us to say, not my will, but thy will be done. Smith, he wants to pour out his Holy Spirit on us that we can be vessels in a dark land. He wants to enable us that we can become kingdom ambassadors. He wants us to surrender our lives, have a willing spirit, and a praying soul. Anybody here ready today to not be ashamed, to be a surrendered soul? Anybody here have made up in your mind if the Lord wants somebody here am I send me I go somebody say yeah if you want the Lord yeah to use you in the kingdom can I tell you what to do lift up your hand throw back your head and say to the Lord ah Surrender all. Oh, yeah. Oh, to be, I freely give. I surrender. I said, I surrender all. If you surrender to the Lord, He will. Yeah, He will get the glory out of your life. He will use you in His service. He will make you a living vessel, a divine instrument for the kingdom of God. Good evening, now, saints. I got to leave you here. Ryan, you're a surrendered soul. You made up in your mind. That whatever the Lord's will is, you are willing to use by the master. Hear my hand. Hear my hands. Use them. Hear my feet. Use them. Hear my tongue. Use them to the glory of the Lord. Tell them he was born in a manger. Tell them he was wrapped in swaddling clothes healed the sick and raised the dead gave sight to the blind and unstopped dead healer but one Friday somebody say Friday one Friday on a hill called Calvary he died that we might live they buried him in Joe the new tomb Early. Somebody say early. 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 Sunny morning. I said, Sunday morning, he got up from the grave. All power is in his hands. Ain't the Lord all right here? If you know he's all right, say, I said, say, yeah. Say, say, glory. Glory. I tried him and the man is all right here. Anybody tried? And you ain't ashamed to admit it. Why don't you reach over and tell your neighbor? I tried him and he's all right here. Get your other neighbor and say, I tried him and he's all right here. Get your other neighbor and say, I tried him.